Good Sunday. It is January 30th. Welcome to My Weather Obsession. That's what I think I'm going to start calling this, My Weather Obsession, because this is kind of an outlet for me to talk to you about the weather. Let's learn some things about uh, some big changes coming to Texas. That's where I'm based. And so we've got probably uh, the most active winter weather of the winter so far coming up this week. So let's look at that. We'll start with the national blend of models. And again, what this is, it's a blend of models. The, they've taken the, the different output from the different computer models, blended them together into this one forecast. And what we're looking at are temperatures, high temperatures here, low temperatures here. So for example, the high today is 68. You see pretty mild here in Dallas, Fort Worth through Tuesday. Changes start to happen on Wednesday and we fall off a cliff and we're quite cold Thursday and Friday and the low temperatures even Saturday morning in the teens. This may even be a little bit too warm. Why is that? Well, I'll, I'll discuss that in a second. Let's talk about our jet stream. River of air up at about 18,000 feet. We look at the jet stream because what happens up there impacts what goes on down here. So this is later today. Actually, this is today. Ridge of high pressure over the western United States, big trough in the east. This is what's left of yesterday's blizzard uh, that uh, hammered uh, New England and, and the northeast. This is a little upper low pressure system that's going to move across Texas, bring a few showers. Let's watch the evolution of this, and we'll just go through it fairly quickly. What I want you to note by Tuesday, look what's happening here. We've got a trough developing over the western United States of equal importance. We have a big ridge over the Pacific. Oh, ridge in the Pacific this time of the year, especially the Eastern Pacific, that should trigger alarm bells. Like, uh-oh, that could be colder weather coming in here. And, and the reason for that is the ridge, as it intensifies and, and nudges north, it taps into a colder source region, and that allows some of that to Arctic air to spill south into Canada and the United States and eventually finds its way into Texas. So now, big story will be the progression of this trough. We're out to Wednesday, and as this trough and its energy comes into the central plains, it's going to produce snow, a snowstorm across Kansas, Missouri, on into uh, Illinois. That will help set the stage for cold air coming in to Texas. So the progression of this upper trough and its energy will continue to move off to the east and impact uh, North Texas Wednesday into Thursday. That provides lift, and that is why we're going to get wintry precip. Now, that snow to the north is pretty important. This is uh, an accumulation of snow uh, out through uh, Friday. So uh, there's, we're going to see a band of, of, of inches of snow, Kansas, Oklahoma, and then heavier snow farther to the north. What this does, it lays down a layer of coldness that will... Uh, help keep this Arctic air from modifying as it moves south. So I think what comes into Texas is going to be pretty cold. Let's look at what happens over the next few days. This is, uh, this is Monday afternoon. Remember that little upper low coming across Texas? This is where the best chance of rain is going to be. And we're looking at the GFS today. Looking at the GFS, we'll be fairly uh, uh, looking at that most of the time. Now we're out to Wednesday. Look at the precip breaking out. The cold air, the leading edge of the cold air is right in here. That's the cold front. That's lunchtime Wednesday. So the front comes in, but directly behind the cold front, the air is still moderate enough that the, the precip will be in the form of rain, but you get up into Oklahoma, it will become a uh, wintry precip. Now, as we go into Wednesday afternoon, early evening, our rain becomes some freezing rain, then some sleet, then some snow. You can see how this is going to be impactful. Uh, that continues overnight. Now we're into Thursday morning, and eventually it changes over to a little bit of snow and then moves on out. Uh, what happens during this 18-hour uh, window is going to be very crucial to life here in North Texas. I think it's going to be uh, fairly uh, have impactful. I, I really do. I think that travel will be impacted late Wednesday into Thursday. And uh, it's going to be kind of messy, given the, given the situation. It's not the, only the GFS that's showing this. Remember, GFS is one model. Let's look at the GFS ensembles, where you take the GFS and you tweak it a 
little bit here, a little bit there. You tweak it 50 times and you come up with 50 separate members of an ensemble and then you take the mean, okay? And so that's what you're looking at here. They've tweaked it 50 times and this is the mean and it still shows mixed precip or probably rain, changing to freezing rain, changing to sleet, and then eventually over to snow. So it's not just one model that's showing this. Multiple models are showing this. Uh, this is a meteogram. What the GFS is predicting, and this is back to the operational, not the ensemble, uh, it's showing a, a, about an inch and a half of liquid precip uh, during the, the day Wednesday into Thursday. It's showing uh, over an inch of sleet and less than four tenths of an inch of freezing rain and less than a half inch of snow. So what I think is happening is we start off as rain, we change over to a little bit of freezing rain, hopefully not too much, and then more of a sleet situation. Okay, so how does that come about? Well, let's go to our, uh, our favorite little picture here. This, at least it's one of my favorite pictures. Um, so this is how you get the different types of precip. Um, with rain, it starts out as snow. Then you get this big warm layer that goes from the mid-levels of the atmosphere down to the surface. So that, that melts any snowflakes, you get all rain. For freezing rain, it starts out as snow. Then you have this layer of warm air that then turns back to sub-freezing air. And so the snowflakes melt into rain, and then as they encounter the sub-freezing air, the freezing rain freezes on contact. As the warm nose gets thinner, you can have snow that encounters the warm, it becomes water, and then falls into a deep enough layer of sub-freezing air that the raindrops have time to freeze into little sleet pellets, you know, the ones that go tick, 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 tick when they hit your window. And then eventually, if the warm layer is completely gone, you have all snow. So what I think we see is a progression from rain to freezing rain to sleet as the warm layer gets smaller and smaller. Now, let's go to this. I want to show you this. This is a sounding. If you've never seen one, I know it looks intimidating. All I want you to do is focus on a couple of things. First of all, look at, look at this right here. This is a cross section of the atmosphere going up. The farther you go up, the higher in the atmosphere you go. You start out at the surface and you go up and that's going higher into the atmosphere. This red line is the temperature profile of the atmosphere. It's starting out right at freezing or very close to freezing at the surface, okay? As that air parcel rises up to about 5,000 feet, or let's say 4,000 feet, all of a sudden, that air parcel has now warmed above freezing. You know how I know that? Look at this dash line right here. See this blue dash line? That's the zero Celsius or the 32 line or the freezing line. So the air parcel starts out at 31 or 32, and then it rises a few thousand feet. And all of a sudden, that air parcel is above freezing. That's that warm layer I was telling you about. Also note this green line. This is the dew point. This tells how much atmospheres or how much moisture is in the atmosphere. It shows a very dry layer of air at about 4,000 feet. So what's going to happen is, yeah, this warm layer is going to be here, but as precip falls into this dry air, it's going to evaporate and it's going to eventually cool this warm nose. And that's why it's going to shrink. And that's why we're going to transition from freezing rain to sleet. Again, remember our picture here. When you have a big layer of, of warm air, you get freezing rain. As that warm air layer shrinks or, or, or warm or cools, it becomes more of sleet. And that is what I think is gonna be happening as we go through the progression on this thing um, on Wednesday. So uh, how about temperatures? Well, let's, let's kind of walk through this here. Um, let's start with Tuesday. Again, this is the GFS showing the cold air coming in. There's Wednesday uh, at noon. Big transition, big baroclinic zone, baroclinicity, where you have a very warm going from cold over a short period of time. Storm systems love that. They feed off of that. 
Now we're into Thursday, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, temperatures, teens and 20s, and just very cold as we go through the day on Thursday. Again, there'll probably be some snow to our north, helping to reinforce the cold air as it comes down. Is it possible we could see below uh, zero temperatures? And eh, this may be a little bit overdone, but uh, it's, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Here's the thing I know. Okay, I've been doing this a long time. Uh, the details from this far out are really hard to, to nail down because things are in flux. What I know is, and for you young meteorologists, always stress what you know. Hey, it's going to get cold. That's where I'm most confident. It is going to get cold Wednesday, especially into Thursday and Friday. That's what I know the most. There's most likely going to be precip. I'm pretty confident that there's going to be wintry precip. Why am I confident? Because the, the models up to this point have been, been in fairly good agreement. Some are predicting more, some are predicting less. Um, the, the parameters that go into place for North Texas to have cold air and wintry precip, they're, they're all showing up on the models as they should. So my confidence is fairly high. So what I know is that there's going to be impactful weather, most likely Wednesday into Thursday, and that my viewers need to take the appropriate action. And I've got to communicate that to them. So hopefully you found this uh, helpful. If not, um, well, I'm just going to assume, you know, I'm a positive guy. I'm going to assume that you did find it helpful. So I had fun. I hope you, uh, if you enjoy it, make sure you like the page. And I don't know, tell other people about it, whatever. If you want to leave some comments, that's cool too. Um, until next time, thanks for watching My Weather Obsession.